Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode with me, Every Day with me, Nick. Um, today we're just going to get these last uh, these last logs there I got uh, called off for the other day, as you've seen my video uh, from last night, I think it is Sunday night. Um, we've got four to do, we're going to be running the uh, Hulls Farmer G660, which is the Chinese clone of the MS660. Uh, absolute beast. <laughs> really really is a 92cc motor it really does rip um, it's got a 25 inch bar however it is only 24 inch so it's, uh, it's a two foot bar um, which will be plenty for this size stuff that I'm doing here today uh, I've got Laura and Isaac just uh, spectating in the background there <laughs> if you can see them in the in the background there but um, yeah they're just round for well, just to get out the house so uh, so we're going to get this done similar setup to last time just going to uh, show you a couple of cuts with it uh, as it is and then just speed it up because you don't want to see me in action for minutes and minutes as it was so um what else we're all good regarding the last video with obviously annoying someone uh, i've had guidance off the council and well I'm allowed to do what I'm doing so I don't need no bi business permit or anything because I ain't a business it's just personal use so I'm all good so without further ado let's get going
<laughs> We're out of juice. They have a big tank, but they're still running out fast. Just using an old container just to put it in easier, much much easier. Right. Now, if if um, I get your opinions, what do you use? <laughs> what are you guys getting out of a tank of fuel to oil? Mine was halfway empty there, or half full, or half empty, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, is that about right? Is that wrong? I've got the. Oh, uh, oil are turned right up so it's producing well it's offering the, the most output however I have been thinking about getting a uh, high output oiler but we'll see how we go with that one what have you got Laura? some chicken, uh, some apples you want some apples? how many? Oh. yeah yeah them, them, uh, them trees haven't been touched all year and still produce yeah Right, let's get on with this last bit. That's it. Four logs, that's all I had. 
biggest one is well, it had a good size to it. Um, I haven't got a tape on me to measure it, but it's easy 18 inches. Uh, maybe it's even nearer the two, uh, 20, 20 inches, maybe. Yeah, so that's it. 660. Well, she, she's beast, but she's heavy. Uh, I sometimes think. I sometimes think about the 440 that they have on offer but that 260 that I've got I think it's plentiful it's got a 16 inch bar on it I don't know if it can run in 18 I don't know if I'd want to but that uh, that's 260 that's still two, MS 260 unbelievable um, I mean I've got a few few saws in there there's only two two ones that I keep coming back to and that's the G660 uh, Oldsformer and the still MS260 so um, right we're going to get this put away and uh, we'll call it a day because the lights coming coming uh, going away fast now so and I'll make this video too long by me babbling on so uh, yeah thanks very much for watching um, if there's anything that you want to say anything you want to want me to do um, just ask away the log split is going to be coming out very shortly all I've got to do in the background there, I've just got to put some panelling on the back there so the logs don't fall out once split. So yeah, that's about it really. So thank you again. Um, and take care of, every, of yourselves. Um, and we'll see you again on the next one. So, from me, Isaac, Laura and Bump. <laughs> we'll catch you all next time. Get up, son. Get up. Did you get rid of it?